Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. As you can see we're playing some more Persona 5 Royal today and I've just been doing a marathon. Um, this is gonna be what? Hour 4 for me? Um, and episode 3. Episode 3, hour 4. I'm just gonna keep going. Um, technically I started this Monday night when it came out. It was around 10 o'clock my time. And um, let's see. It's 1.18 right now. And in the morning. And I cannot stop playing. So, yeah. I am just so happy. That thingy on your phone was some red eyeball icon, right? Uh, the what? That weird nav thing. The app that took us some weird place? I found it on my phone, too. I don't even remember installing it. Huh. That's creepy. For real. What is this thing? Think it's being downloaded on, on its own somehow? It's dangerous to use something without knowing what it is. But with it, we can go to that weird place, right? It seems like it. Basically, it's gonna depend on how we use it. But first, we gotta find evidence for the beatings. I'm counting on you, alright? Don't go ditching school on me. Alright, well, Igor did say that he would give this power to other people if I found a use for them. I feel exhausted. Maybe it's because of the metaverse. I'll sleep. Alright, Velvet Room, I think we're going again. Yep, sure are. What you got for me now, Igor? Welcome to the Velvet Room. I thought about resuming our previous conversation tonight. That is why I have summoned you. What are your thoughts? Are you becoming accustomed to this place? <laughs> Don't be stupid? <laughs> why is that one of the responses? I mean... This is weird, man. But yeah, I guess so. Ah, glad to hear it. It seems you have nerves of steel. I prefer not to be in prison, but... The goal of your rehabilitation is to thwart the fated ruin. However, such a feat cannot be done by you alone. Today, you entered a partnership with someone who awoke to the same power. Did you not? Hmm. You mean Ryuji? Involving yourself with others is an important foundation for your recovery. You've done well. That said, I am not advising the formation of superficial relationships. It must not be a frivolity, but a ring of those who would, by morals or faith, lend you their strength. In other words, they are bonds with those who have been robbed of their places to belong. The expansion of said ring will, in return, help you mature as well. Personas are the strength of heart. The stronger the bonds that surround you, the more power your personas will gain. There are countless people in the city who have talents that a weakling like you doesn't. You better rack that noggin of yours and get them on your side. We'll change that into power. You don't gotta be rude about it, Caroline. Confidants are people you trust who share a similar goal. You can find these people in places like school or around town. Try forming bonds with people by visiting them multiple times, earning their trust, and proving your value. Once you have formed a bond, you can open the menu with Triangle and select Confidant to check the strength of your relationships. Indeed, you should be prepared to use even myself, or your ambitions will not come to fruition. <laughs> We have a deal, then. It feels like Igor has high expectations of me. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the fool persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Alright, we got ourselves another confidant with another arcana, the fool. Prison Master Confidant. 
Um, so, new ability. So, a lot of times when you get specific ranks, you're going to get abilities with them, which is another reason why getting these confidant rankings is so important. Um, trust me, some of these you're going to want. Um, I don't know if many of these have changed in this new version, but there are specific people that I'm going to be targeting pretty hard on confidants early on, simply because their abilities are amazing. And um, I'm kind of hoping a few of them have changed and a few of them have not. But we'll see how they have been altered. So the ability is Wild Talk. It allows you to negotiate with shadows after performing a holdup. That'll become incredibly important here in a second as well. So the mechanics are slowly rolling in, guys. Slowly rolling in. So the full arcana. Let's talk about that a little bit. It sounds like they're throwing shade, but they're not. Um, the Fool, also known as the Jester, it represents new beginnings, an openness to the unknown, a propensity for luck, and a focus on originality. If the card is on its reverse, its meaning can take a different tone, implying chaos, folly, and poor judgment. So the Fool is generally, so in Arcana, or in Tarot I mean, there is this idea that the Arcana are in a specific order, and that they tell the story of life. And the Fool is always the first one in the tarot deck because it represents like an openness for and new beginnings, right? An openness for change and the ability to take on um, new beginnings and all sorts of things. So basically what the Fool represents is actually infinite possibilities in a lot of ways. It's the beginning of a story and you can go in any direction, right? And so the Fool is actually a really important card because it's the beginning of everything. And so with Igor here, he is kind of like this beacon of our fate. So he is kind of the person who is the beginning of this story and pushing us through the beginning of our journey. Um, the story of the tarot is what's called the Fool's Journey, I think. And so, yeah, we can also, as the main character, uh, be considered the Fool in this instance because we're the main character, we're the one that's open to all of these new paths, and we're the one that's going to move forward. So yeah, lots of stuff there. And another new ability, Arcana Burst. Earn bonus experience when fusing personas based on their Arcana's confidant rank. Alright, you have learned the ability Wild Talk, you have learned the ability Arcana Burst. Confidant Abilities. People you have formed a bond with have special Confidant Abilities. Your Confidant rank indicates the strength of your trust with someone. As this rank increases, more of their Confidant Abilities will be unlocked. Press Triangle to open the menu. Check your Confidants. Well, you will understand it all in due time. Continue devoting yourself to your rehabilitation. Now this conversation's over. Get lost, inmate. Fine, Caroline. Gosh, she's the mean one. She's mean to me. Every game has a different set of attendants, by the way. How annoying! We've barely started high school and already they're making us play at a volleyball rally? Oh my gosh. And why are they pitting us against the teacher team? Kamoshida's gonna crush us! <laughs> we get to see his technique live and in person, though. We should totally get spiked on! Yeah, okay. <laughs> You're gonna get your face smashed in. <laughs> Just look at how banged up the volleyball team is. What the hell goes on during their practices? Yeah. You don't want to know. Just be happy you're not on the team, buddy. Okay, quiet down. Listen up, everyone. As you all know, today is the volleyball rally. Head to the gymnasium once you've changed, got it? Pretty boring, right? Hey, 
y'all remember uh, that cannon shooting volleyballs at that dude's face? Sorry. Yeah, he's doing this shit on purpose. Hey, are you all right? Someone, take him to the nurse's office. Just because he can. It makes him feel powerful. The prick. You get that side. He'll pay soon enough. All right, let's resume the match. He's acting innocent, but when we you've seen inside of his mind, that you understand what he's really like doing. King over here too. Get to know each other better, my ass. It's just a one-man show for him to stroke his ego. Oh, oh, and how he acted like he was worried <laughs> about Mishima. Oh, what an abusive D-bag. <laughs> he's pissed. Well, anyways. Now is our chance to go look for the guys we saw were slaves yesterday. Let's look for the faces we saw at the castle. All the members of the team should be here today. I'll be sure to find someone to spill about Kamoshida's physical abuse. Just you wait, asshole. Where are you searching? The first one that popped out was a guy from Class D. So let's start from there. That's your class. Hopefully you can get him to talk without any issues. People have been avoiding me lately, so... Oh, but... You're kind of in the same boat, huh? <laughs> quick travel. You can use quick travel by bringing up the map with R1 and selecting the location you want to move to. Can we buy from hey. these yet? Ball game's gonna end, so we can't t take too much time. All right. Fine. I was just gonna get some stuff, man. It's fine. Uh. It'll take you to the practice building. We gotta get to the room for class D. Okay. Hmm? No. Let's listen. Mr. Kamashita is going to play again, right? When's his next match? Let's get there early. I want to see his awesome moves up close. I know just what you'd expect from a gold medalist. If we cheer for him, maybe he'll even look over at us. I just know he will, and I bet he'll remember our faces too. Mr. Kamashita is always nice to girls. Oh, <laughs> oh, you, no. It does seem like he talks to the girls on the volleyball team, and that new first year a lot. Kasumi? I want to get to know an Olympic medalist, too. Hmm? Yeah, I bet that new first year they're referring to is Kasumi. Yes, I could do the fast travel, but I'm not. Because I want to travel around at least a little bit at the beginning. I know where I'm going, but a lot of you um, probably don't. You can use the fast travel, too, but... I do advise you at the beginning to kind of learn the layout of the school a little bit, so... What? Are you skipping out on the volleyball rally? I guess I expect it from you, Transfer. Damn, dude. Hey, that's the guy who was over at What's that castle. What's your deal? You too, Sakamoto? What do you guys want? How did you get injured? It's from practice. What does that have to do with anything? Kamoshida did it to you, right? Look. I ain't gonna tell anyone you squealed. Just tell us about how Kamoshida's abusing you. I... I don't know what you're talking about. Are you afraid? I'm not. You guys are talking complete nonsense. Don't try and hide it. We already know. You know? You have proof. Well, uh... I... This is ridiculous. Please, leave me alone. You're really bothering me. All right, that's enough. Come on, let's go. Oh, they really got you scared, huh? That injury ain't normal, and he still won't fess up. Ah, crap. If we keep going at this pace, the ball game's gonna end. Let's, uh, split up. I guess that'd be faster. I'll check the practice building for people before clubs start. You handle the classroom building. There's a third year on the volleyball team that I remember. I think he's in... 3C? He was getting beat pretty badly at the castle. He might have some injuries here, too. Anyways, I'll hit you up if I find anything. See ya. Now, if I remember correctly, this one was weird. 3C was actually on the first floor, where I would have expected it on the third. Maybe I'm thinking of something else, but um, let's talk to this person, then we'll find out. Do you need something? I really wish you wouldn't talk to me in such a public place. Wow, that's cold. I want dirt on Kamashita, girl. Why don't you ask Mishi Mishima-kun uh, about that? He's in Class D with you, isn't he? To be honest, I've heard some rumors about him and Mr. Kamashita. Don't ask me any more, though. I don't want the teachers to see me associating with you. 
Okay. So... She's mean. <laughs> yeah, so we're on the first floor, or second floor. And the classrooms are labeled 3, B, C. That doesn't make any sense. Don't you know you're supposed to be like, if you're on the third floor, then you can do 3A, 3B, 3C. Oh, we are on the first floor, yeah. But yeah, you take my point. Why is 3C on the first floor? I don't see any students with any note. Oh, he's right here. <laughs> uh, hey, first off, On and she are over here. Yeah? Everyone's saying a lot of bad stuff about that transfer student in your class, On. Uh... I know, I hate rumors already, but they're only getting more and more complex as time goes on. Mm -hmm. I wonder if he's alright. I hope he's not letting it get to him too much. That's just like you, Shiho. Always worrying about other people before yourself. Yeah. Kinda like when you were there for me. Look at that portrait. Ugh. See, there are nice people in this school. Man, clean up, cleaning up after the volleyball rally is gonna be such a goddamn pain. Matt, wh what do you want? You got something to say? You on the volleyball team? So what if I am? Hey, I know who this guy is. He's that transfer student who's been hanging out with Sakamoto. Oh, I get it. You're trying to snoop on Mr. Kamashita, right? Look, our volleyball team performs at a national level. Of course our practices are gonna be tough. Mr. Kamashita's just dedicated to training us. Don't believe everything, everything Sakamoto says, says. You sure it's not abuse? Uh-huh, sure. As if. Hey, we should stop talking to him. What if he loses it and starts attacking us? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I heard he even carries a knife around. Who knows what he's capable of? Well, shit, you keep talking like that, I am gonna shank ya. <laughs> How's it going? Uh, he refused. Him too? Man, everyone's too freaked out about Kamashita. But I still got a lead, a first year, new member. He just joined, so he might not be all wrapped up in Kamashita's web of bullshit yet. Go ask around with the first year, see if you can find him. Checking messages, you can view the messages you have received by pressing square. An icon will appear on any unread messages. Only the 50 most recent chat threads will be saved. Old chats will be automatically deleted, so don't forget to read them. Alright. Okay, ask around the first years. So are they going to be on the third floor? Are the first years on the third floor? So the upperclassmen get the first floor. Second years get the second floor. So maybe the first years get the third. Yikes, he's coming this way. Did you hear that? <laughs> Practice has just been so hard. I haven't been getting any... Huh? What do you want? You on the volleyball team? Huh? No, I'm not. Why? What's going on? Hey, isn't he... You know, the scary guy. What? Why didn't you say so? I can't believe I talked to him. I'm still standing right here, irritated female student. Oh, well, never mind. I'm in a hurry, so I've got to go. Is he... Oh, it's you. Huh? Y yeah, I'm on the volleyball team. What do you want? What are those injuries? Oh, these? It... Uh, it happened during practice. I mean, everyone on the team's got injuries like this. Uh, Mishima Senpai has it especially bad, though. He gets to deal with Mr. Kamashita's special coaching. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. Oh, uh, yeah, never mind. Forget I said anything. Special coaching? I can't do it! Please, just stop talking to me. Ask someone else if you want to know anything more. God, that's... Attention, attention. All matches have concluded. Please get ready to go home for today. Damn it, we're out of time. How'd it go? No good. So you didn't have any luck either. Okay, let's regroup for now. See you in the courtyard. Can I talk to you for a sec? Um, sure, what's up? It'll be quick. Anyway, what's with you? 
Like how you were late the other day was a lie and all. There's that weird rumor about you too. Damn, she just comes right out with it, doesn't with she? I can respect that. Right back at you. You're not even in our class. <laughs> we just happen to get to know each other. What are you planning on doing to Mr. Kamoshida? Huh? Mm. I see. I get ya. You're all buddy buddy with Kamoshida after all. This has nothing to do with you, Sakamoto. If you found out what he's been doing behind your back, you'd dump him right away. Dump him. Behind my back? What's that supposed to mean? You wouldn't get it. Anyway, people are already talking about you two. I don't know what you're trying to pull, but no one's gonna help you. I'm warning you, just in case. That's all. Why she gotta be so aggressive all the time? Do you know her? We just went to the same middle school. Anyways, that's not what we're here to talk about. I had no luck on my end. What about you? Did anything like someone's name turn up? Yep. Multiple times. Mishima. Huh? Special coaching, huh? True. I always see the guy covered in bruises. Let's go talk to him before he leaves then. Got a second? Sakamoto? And you too. Come on, we just want to chat. Kamoshida's been coaching you, huh? You sure it's not just physical abuse? Certainly not. What are you talking all polite for? Anyways, we saw him spike you today. Right in the face. That was just because I'm not good at the sport. Still... That doesn't explain all the other bruises you've got. They're from practice. Is he forcing you to keep quiet? That's... What's going on here? Mishima, isn't it time for practice? I think you might have touched on something there, Ryuji. Uh, I'm not feeling well today. What? Maybe you're better off quitting then. You're never going to improve that crappy form unless you show up to practice. I don't know, I think you should just quit, man. Didn't you hear? He ain't feeling well. Well, Mishima, are you coming to practice or not? I'll go. As for you, Ooh. any more trouble and you'll be gone from this school for you sure. You see that step up right there? Bastard. Same goes for you. Didn't the principal tell you to keep in line? You have an amazing spike, man. <laughs> Just don't get in the way of my practice. All these unsettling rumors are making the students anxious, after all. That's your own goddamn fault. This won't get us anywhere. Let's go, Mishima. You don't have Shujin to go, Academy man. Academy is a place where those with aspirations come to learn. Unworthy students like yourselves don't have any right to be here. Get with the program. Yes, sir. That asshole. He's gonna pay for this. There's no point. Huh? Proving that he's physically abusing us is meaningless. Everybody knows. The principal, our parents. They all know, and they all keep quiet about it. That's messed up. This has gotta be a joke! Don't be a pain. You don't understand what I'm going through. Shouldn't you of all people know that nothing's going to help? <sighs> Yeah, look what he did to you, Ryuji. You gonna quit? No, I ain't giving up. Good. I'll try one more time to persuade the other guys. That's all I can do. I mean, Kamashita couldn't possibly, you know, get worse, right? They couldn't possibly make him even more of a prick, could they? I'm worn out from all the stuff that happened today. I should probably head to sleep soon. Can I go downstairs? Probably not. Alright. Let's go ahead and Let's save this on a new line. And let's go to bed. Can I clean this off yet? No, I cannot. 
Hey, this don't make any damn sense. The principal and even the parents know about the abuse? Why ain't anybody speaking up? I don't think they care that it's happening. That can't be true. It's basically because Kamashita made the volleyball team famous, yeah? Yep, that's why they don't care. Even so, they don't give him the right to do whatever he wants. He's beating kids up and all they're allowed to do is endure. And that follower of his doesn't give one single shit. Who are you talking about? Are you talking about On? On Takamaki. You met her in the courtyard, remember? You should know her. You should know her. I mean, she's in your class, dude. Sits right in front of me, actually. What a load of bull. I can't let it end like this. I'm gonna try and find someone who knows about what's going on with Kamashita during break tomorrow. Just you watch. I ain't giving up. Okay. I'm beat from running around all day. No velvet room tonight. Did you see Mr. Kamashita play yesterday? He was so awesome. I think I might ask for his autograph after school. I don't know if that's such a good idea. I hear that you shouldn't go near the PE faculty office. People say you can hear weird sounds like screaming, even though no one's there. <sighs> Special coaching. What? That's probably just a rumor spread by fans to scare the co competition. Special coaching. So, about witnesses. I was wondering if we could get something out of Takamaki. Yeah, I don't even want to, like, play into that rumor. I don't know. I don't like it. You saw her face when she got into his car. I don't know, man. She's not on the team. Just hear me out. You know how we didn't get a thing out of the volleyball team? I figured it'd be a good idea to talk to someone who knows them. Takamaki's best friend forever, BFFs with a starter, and a girl named Suzui. Uh, I tried to talk to that girl during break, but I got nothing. That's why we should have Takamaki talk to her. Then again, I guess it'll be hard getting her to help us. Sorry, let me see what else I can come up with. Yeah, she seemed a little upset last time we talked to her. Shouldn't you be heading to volleyball? Uh-huh. That bruise above your eye. Mm. Is that from practice, too? Y yeah Look at it. Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? I'm okay. Volleyball's the only thing I can do right. Oh, man. Shouldn't you take that? You can tell the girl's, like, depressed, too. It's probably too. just my part-time job, I think. I should get going. Shiho. Are you sure you're okay? Uh-huh. A teenager should not have to deal with something like that. Yes. T today won't work. I'm... I'm not feeling so good. Sorry. Bye. Read between the lines. Hey, wasn't that Takamaki? Rumor has it she's dating Kamoshida. Seriously? I heard people saw them in his car together. You know, she seems pretty easy, huh? You think I'd have a chance to? Come on, dude. You can't go after Kamoshida's bitch. Out of line, buddy. Out of line. <sighs> what? Uh, oh, I'm in the way, aren't I? Sorry. It's okay. Are, are you hurt? Huh? Um, well... Hmm. You don't look familiar. Could you be that transfer student from Class D? Um, this might not be any of my business, but don't let the rumors get to you, okay? You're a good person, Shiho, aren't you? Don't worry, they don't bother me. I'm glad to hear that. 
my best friend is often misunderstood too. All because of her looks. Uh, sorry. I didn't mean to drag on like that. Anyway, I have to go to practice. I'll see you around. Hey, you have value too, girl. Don't forget it. Damn it! What the hell? This really ain't going our way. All of them kept saying the same shit Mishima was talking about. Kamoshida had to have told him something. At this rate, looks like we'll have to go to him directly. Yeah, should have started with that. I know. But seriously, isn't there something we can do? No way I'm gonna give in like this. Can you think of anything? We could maybe call the cops? So you want to tell them about the castle? They never believe us. Yeah, that's not the route. <sighs> Have any but... other ideas? A sneak attack. Oh, that'd be fine if we could do it without <laughs> getting caught. What does that even mean? If we did, we'd be seriously done for. You got any other ideas? What do we do? Hey. How about we punish the king? The king? You mean that other world's Kamoshida? I didn't think of that, but is there any meaning to- I finally found you! I know that voice! You say something? <laughs> Don't think you can get away with not paying me back for helping you. <laughs> that voice? Is that you, Morgana? See? The cat. How dare you up and leaving me the other day! Oh, he's pissed! The cat's talking? I am NOT a cat! This is just what happened when I came to this world. It was a lot of trouble finding you two. Wait, you came to our world? <gasps> Does that mean you've got a phone? <laughs> you don't what? need one when you're at my level. <laughs> I did get pretty lost making my escape. Though. I don't know that why, aside, but that's a funny why line. Why can you talk? You're a cat! How should I know? You hearing this too? Meow? <laughs> this is no time to be joking around! <laughs> you guys are having a rough time of this, hmm. I heard you mention something about witnesses. Oh, shut up! You know, I could tell you a thing or two about what to do about Kamashita. You were pretty close just a moment ago. God, that condescending attitude. <laughs> this thing's gotta be more gone. Right. <laughs> you still doubting me? God, quiet down! Uh, we really have to be looking for a cat in a busy time like this? I just heard a meow somewhere near here. Didn't you hear it? Uh, make sure you check every nook and cranny around. Meow? Does that mean only us two can understand what you're saying? Looks like it. What the hell's going on? Anyways, what you were talking about earlier, is it for real? You're quite the skeptic for being an idiot. <laughs> hey, we're kind of so more. mean. <laughs> then again, this probably ain't the best place. Here, stick it in your bag for now. It should be just small enough to fit. <laughs> hey, how dare you treat me like. Just get in the bag, Morgana. <laughs> Don't be so rough with me. Enough of that. You said you know how we can do something about Kamoshida, right? It has to do with what this guy was talking about earlier. You'll need to attack his castle. What do you mean? That castle is how Kamoshida views this school. He doesn't realize what happens in there, but it's deeply connected to the depths of his heart. Thus, if the castle disappears, it would naturally impact the real Kamoshida. What had happened? A palace is a manifestation of a person's distorted desires. So, if that castle were no more... His desires would go too. Precisely. You sure pick up things fast. For real? He he's gonna turn good? You just gotta kill that dark side of him, huh? Is that really getting back at him? Erasing a palace essentially means forcing the owner to have a change of heart. However, even though their warped wants disappear, the crimes they committed remain. 
Kamoshida will become unable to bear the weight of those crimes. And he'll confess them himself. He'll actually feel guilt. You for real? For That's being a possible? piece of shit. And since the palace will no longer exist, he'll forget what we did there as well. Not only will we be able to bring Kamoshida down, but there won't even be a trace of our involvement. Perfect crime. That's amazing! You are one incredible cat! True. Except for the cat part. <laughs> so, how do we get rid of the palace? By stealing the treasure held within. Stealing? I'll tell you more once you agree to go ahead with this. It's my most valuable secret plan, after all. If you want to help me out, I'll gladly teach you. What's your call? Our luck's running dry looking for witnesses. Guess we have no choice but to go along. Alright, no other way. Good. Oh, right. There's one more thing I should tell you. If we erase a palace, there is no doubt that the person's distorted desires will be erased as well. But desires are what we all need in order to survive. The will to sleep, eat, fall in love. Those sorts of things. What are you getting at? If all of those yearnings were to vanish, they'd be no different than someone who is shut down entirely. They may even die if they're not given proper care. So... They might die! Will you listen to everything I have to say first? Would their death be our fault? Yeah. Aren't you determined enough to face those kinds of risks? It, it would. Hey, what do you think? I think that I'm willing to risk it. That's what I think. For real? Sheesh. I come all this way and this is what I get. It's not like anyone will ever find out. <laughs> That's not the It's point. only murder. <laughs> if we just go around secretly doing whatever we want, we'd be no better than that effing Kamoshida. Uh, isn't this your only option? I'll come back later. Make sure you've made your decision by then. Man, we're getting all worked up for nothing. Damn it. I'll try and see if I can figure out another way. Come on, let's get out of here. Yo, some of the guys in my class have been talking. About that Suzui girl, looks like rumors are going around about her and Kamoshida. If they're true, it's no wonder I couldn't get her to talk. Still, something about that doesn't seem right. Do you know something? It's nothing so clear cut, but... I've known Takamaki and Suzui since middle school. There's just no way Kamoshida's their type, you know? So, I gotta wonder where those rumors came from. I guess we'll get to it tomorrow. See ya. I wonder what the other students are saying. I should listen in as I go home. Takamaki always looks kind of unhappy whenever Kama Mr. Kamashita talks to her. Maybe she doesn't want to talk to him at school to show off how she's got him wrapped around her finger. Ugh, gross. Oh, so that's what's going on. I wonder how far they've gone together. God. These students are seriously the worst gossipers in the world. I hate them. They suck. I saw that new transfer student hanging out with Sakamoto-kun. The two of them are so scary. He doesn't look like the kind of guy who'd have a crimin criminal record. Maybe he's one of those? What? What does that mean? You know, the people in those accidents. Maybe he suddenly freaks out and attacks people. Huh? I don't think so. He's just been coming to school. Actually, he almost seems normal. And from what I hear, after you have a psychotic breakdown, you go brain dead and die right there. Sounds terrible. Hmm? Sakamoto's been asking questions about the volleyball team. Just who does he think he is? The volleyball team's never going to tell him anything. They're all completely loyal to Kamoshida. Well, if Kamoshida likes them, their future is pretty much set. Of course they'd back him up. Speaking of which, I hear Kamoshida's new favorite girl is someone named Suzui. Oh, the girl who was chosen to be a regular? Ah, her face was all swollen. It looked pretty bad. Mm. I'm not thirsty right now. Man, she even looks hot in a jersey. I wonder if I have a shot with her. You really want Kamashita's leftovers? I like the girl with the ponytail better. Oh, you mean from the volleyball team? 
I guess I kind of get you. There's also a really cute first here with a ponytail, though. Why not her? Man, people really like ponytails around here. Wait, there was a girl like that? I didn't look at all. I mean, I hated most of the people at my high school, too, so... I guess it makes sense that they all suck. The area beyond this point the area beyond this point seems to be off. I'm trying to talk to the people. <laughs> How can you think it's all a coincidence? If the same thing ha keeps happening again and again. The train derailing the other day was horrific. If you ask me, it looked like an act of terrorism. Maybe it's a conspiracy. Another country attacking us. You think they're using mind control? If it was mind control, they're messing it up. Those people end up going brain dead, don't they? Please give it a rest. I told you I'm not feeling up to it. Wait, what? That's not what you promised. And you call yourself a teacher? Mm, not good. This has nothing to do with Shiho. Uh, not what you promised. Oh, girl. Shiho's starting position. Wait, were you listening? Yeah, not on purpose. I just happened to be walking by. Haven't you heard of privacy? Uh, no, I was out of line. Sorry. No, I even put a tear in her eye. So, how much did you hear? Something about a friend. It's nothing at all. Nothing. It's too funny. I wonder what happened. Maybe I should follow her. girl who just ran by was really cute, don't you think? How should I know? I don't go looking at the face of everyone who walks by me. How's that pillar doing on? Stop following me! Just leave me alone! Are you okay? Why? Why do you keep worrying about me? <laughs> Let's, um... Let's go somewhere safe. What the heck? I really don't get you. I don't have anything to talk about with you. It was just an argument. Yeah, with Kamashita, right? And it seems like she's really stressed out. Thank you very much! You've heard the rumors, haven't you? It's nothing but rumors About in this Mr. town, Kamishita. man. Everyone says we're getting it on. But that's so not true. <clears throat> that was him on the other line. I avoided giving him my number for the longest time. He told me to go to his place after this. <sighs> you know what it means. Mm-hmm. If I turn him down, he said he'd take my friend off as a regular on the team. I've been telling myself this is all for Shiho's sake. I can't take it anymore. Uh, uh. I've had enough of this. I hate him. But still, Shiho's my best friend. She's all I have left of that sorry excuse of a school. Tell me, what should I do? I shouldn't have asked. 
It's not your problem. <laughs> it's a look of determination right there. That's what we call resolve. What? What am I saying? I barely even talked to you before. Before this, we were having to ask ourselves, all right, are we willing to try this if it could mean that he dies afterwards? And then here we are, upping the game, making Kamashita even more of a piece of garbage, awful person, and a pedophile. Maybe, maybe that's why? <laughs> you might be right. You're so weird. Usually everyone just ignores me. Are you really a bad person? <laughs> I've heard people talking about you, but I just don't see it. Ah, uh, you know me. I'm bad to the bone. <laughs> <laughs> Is that supposed to be a joke? A bad one. <laughs> Kinda had a feeling they were all just exaggerations. You seemed lonely. Almost like you didn't belong anywhere. Kinda like you, the huh? Same in that regard. Maybe that's why it was so easy for me to talk to you. Is there really no way for me to help Shio? I wish he'd just change his mind. Like, forget about me and everything. if something like that would ever happen. Yeah. Too convenient. Although we might have a way. <laughs> I wasn't asking for a serious response. Rhetorical. I got gotcha. you. I do feel a bit better now. I'm gonna head home. Man, I love this game. Don't tell anyone what I told you, okay? I'll try and think of a way to persuade Kamoshida. Well, thanks. And that that's the thing, though, is that he has all of the power. The power dynamics is, ugh, it's so goddamn gross. Suzui, are you leaving? What is it? Mr. Kamoshida's asking mm. for you. He's in the PE faculty office. What did he say? I don't know. Well, I have to go. Mishima, don't let her go, man. <gasps> On. You're late. Where have you been? Oh, you know, just helping a girl who's being sexually harassed by her teacher. I got lost. It's my go-to excuse. Is that supposed to be an excuse? <laughs> How directionally challenged can you be? <laughs> by the way, you haven't been hanging around any bad influences, have you? Of course not. I actually made a friend. Aren't you happy for me, Pops? They've got to be pretty strange to want to spend time with you. <laughs> Just make sure you're careful for, who man. your friends are. If you don't want them ruining your life. Ooh, look at the time. Seriously, think about how I feel having to stay up here waiting for you. Hey, I'm leaving. In the future, try not to come back so damn late. Understood? Sorry, Dad. So, what do you think about what, Morga what Morgana told us? I don't know if I get all that stuff about stealing desires, and Kamashita's gonna turn like brain dead if we mess up, right? I mean, sure, I'm pissed at him, but I don't know if I really want to kill the guy. <sighs> I'm like in the middle, so I want to like answer this, because it's like, uh, I don't know if I really want to like go that far I'm like floating in the middle like I'm willing to uh, I'm willing to risk something that might kill him 
but also might not. How about that? Right. We ain't gonna settle anything at this rate. I'm thinking murder is a bit much, though. Oh well. I suppose that's a good moral place to be. I'll try and see if I can come up with some other way tonight. All right. I should write something. Quick save before we go to bed. Still in Kamashita's distorted desires. Can we really do it? Anyway, I should get some sleep. I can't believe Suzui Senpai missed such an important meeting. I wonder what happened. Mr. Kamashita asked to see her. I've heard rumors about how the two of them stay late together. Heavy sigh. I wonder what's going on. You don't think they're... Nah, it couldn't be. Man, it's been nothing but bad news lately. I'm worried about the future. Oh, that reminds me. Apparently a guest is coming to the school today. Some young guy, I think. Oh, tell me more. So I assume all of you know about the separation of powers. There are three branches in our government. The National Diet is legislative, the Cabinet is executive, and the Supreme Court is judiciary. This division of power provides checks and balances, which ensures no one branch becomes unstoppable. Have you made up your mind? <laughs> no matter how much thinking you do, there's only one option. <laughs> You'd be better off just listening to me. Oh, I love that. Why are you in there? Hmm, did I just hear a cat just now? <laughs> mm, mm, meow! Why, why would you meow again? Could that rumored cat be somewhere nearby? Damn rumored Settle cats. Down. We're in the middle of an important lecture. <laughs> <laughs> it's no use. I can't think of any other way. Are you cutting class? I can't deal with that shit right now. I mean, what are we gonna do about Kamashita? Do we just gotta go along with what that cat says? Ah, damn furball. If you only knew I'm reading this too. Oh. <laughs> You're really mean to him sometimes, hey, so uh What's that? Oh um, man. Enough! This is a classroom! Wait. She's going to jump! Suzui? God damn it. Shiho? For real? Come on, let's go. It? Hey, stay in your seats. Do not step foot outside of this room. No way. Huh? Is she gonna commit suicide? It's Suzui. She is Suzui. Huh? Suzui, hey, son. Let's go look. Oh man. Your seats. No. Why? She <laughs> hey, what's going on? We should head to the courtyard too. They're not pulling their punches. The hell is this? There's no way we're gonna get past all these goddamn people. Come on, let's try going through the practice building. Alright. Is that this hallway? Yeah, they have it marked. I don't think they marked it in the original. What the hell? Oops. Let me through, man. Please. Really? Class is still in session. She what the hell's wrong with these people? Right? We need someone to go with her. Are there any teachers around? Uh, I'm not in charge of her class, though. Well, we should leave this to Principal Kobayakawa. As if that fucking matters. I'll go! Please Frickin hurry! pricks. Oh my god. Shio. Why? On? I'm sorry. I... 
can't take this anymore. Shio? Huh? Kamoshida? Huh? No! Shio! Well, if we weren't okay with murder before... I'm definitely willing to risk it. Return to your classrooms at once! <gasps> that guy... Hey, wasn't Mishima acting weird? He knows something. We're gonna make him talk this time. God, this scene is so rough. Teachers, return to your classrooms for the time being. Please do not let any students go home yet. That hurts. Why'd you run like that, huh? I didn't run. She jumped and tried to kill herself. <laughs> Leave me alone. Come on, man. Do you know something? He's right. We ain't trying to get you busted. We won't say you talked either. Suzui. She was called out by Mr. Kamashita. Wait, what? I was called by him a number of times, too. To the teacher's room. It wasn't just me or Suzui, either. He'd nominate someone when he was in a bad mood and hit them. So the physical punishment thing was for real. And yesterday, he called Suzui out of the blue. She didn't make any mistakes or anything. And I mean, like, up until this point, you had to wonder, like, is the abuse really, like... Was it just him hiding it in practice? In practice, he would just hurt people as much as possible? But no, they really, they really land at home here that no, he does have people come right into his office and beats the shit out of them. And yeah, Suzui didn't do anything wrong, and he's just doing this to her because he wants to punish Suzui, and he wants to punish Anne for not sleeping with him. I'm okay with killing him. I don't know, what do you guys think? If he died, would you be okay with it? Be cool? Yeah? Mr. Kamashita seemed really irritated that day. So it must have been. By the way, look on top of the lo lockers. He did it! <laughs> that son of a bitch! Uh. The implications there are, um... I bet. Dark. So Kamoto's going to find Mr. Kamoshida. Mr. Kamoshida's probably in the PE faculty office on the second floor. He went into the PE faculty office. Let's hurry. We have to go after him. What the hell did you do to that girl? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me! That is enough! What you did was in coaching. What did you say? You... You ordered me to call Suzui here. I can only imagine what you did to her. Look at you go, Mishima. You're going on and on about things you have no proof of. Basically, you're simply making these claims because you can't be a regular on the team, right? That's not what this is about! Even if it is exactly as you imagine it to be, hypothetically speaking, what can you do? We just received a call from the hospital. Suzui's in a coma, and her chances of recovery are slim. How would someone like that make a statement? Oh, fuck There's you. no chance of her getting better, I hear. Oh, the poor girl. Fuck you. No. I can't be. You goddamn... This again? Does this mean we need to have yet another case of self-defense? You shut your mouth, you son of a bitch! 
Oh, I don't think I'd be able to hold Why myself back, me? honestly. Calm down. We got another way. But still! Oh, you're stopping him? What a surprise. There's no need to hold back. Why not attack me? Oh, you can. <laughs> but of course you can. Hey, I'm only afraid that if I did, I wouldn't stop until you were dead. Everyone present right now will be expelled. I'm reporting all of you at the next board meeting. What? You can't make a decision like that! Who would seriously consider what scum like you say? You threaten me too, Mishima. So you're just as responsible. Huh? To think you didn't know why I kept someone as talentless as you on the team. You act like you're a victim. But you leaked his criminal records, didn't you? Mm -hmm. It's all over the internet, correct? How terrible. Mishima? He told me to do it. I had no choice. <laughs> now, are we finished here? You're all expelled. You're done for. Your futures are mine to take. Now get out of my sight. I can't believe this asshole's getting away with this! He'll eat his words. Huh? Oh, right! We have that! Huh? Have you lost your minds? You worthless kids aren't making any sense. But sure, go ahead and try. After all, you'll have plenty of time to kill until expulsion. Oh, you'll definitely be eating those words, buddy. Yes, you will. We can't waste any time. We gotta hurry up and go to that world and beat the shit out of that asshole. We're not beating him up. We're simply stealing his distorted desires. Can I assume that you've made up your minds about this? About how he might suffer a mental shutdown? I have. Someone almost died because of him. I don't give a rat's ass what happens to him anymore. And you? I agree. Then it's settled. By the way, is getting rid of a palace hard? You've tried it before, right? When did I ever say that? <laughs> huh? What? Nani? Were you just pretending to know? Is it true that you're getting expelled? Everyone's talking about it. That asshole's at it again. So you came all this way to tell us that? You're going to deal with Kamoshida? Let me in on it too. I can't just sit back and do nothing after what happened to Shiho. This has nothing to do with you. Don't butt your head into this. But it does! Shiho's my... I said don't get in our way! Mm, now's not the time, Ryuji. <laughs> Cool it, man. That was harsh. We can't take her somewhere like that. I hope she doesn't do anything too crazy. Mm. Women can be much bolder than men at times. We just gotta hurry up and deal with Kamoshida. Let's go already. The moment we cross over, we'll treat each other like phantom thieves. So I hope you're ready. Well, I am ready. But we're going to do it in the next episode because I need to end this episode here. We're at that one hour mark. So thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And next time, we're going to see what we can do about this Kamashita piece of shit. How about that? And you don't want to miss that. Trust me, you don't want to miss that. We're going to get him. We're going to get him. So yeah, I'll see you in the next episode.